All right, ladies and gentlemen, the U2 citizens, it's another throwback tunes on another Thursday, and this is your boy Dash True and Fun. Oh! <laughs> and for the second week in a row, I am reviewing another soundtrack, and this soundtrack is the soundtrack of the Nutty Professor to the Clumps. So, yeah, and this is a very confusing soundtrack. I'll get more than in a second. Now, this soundtrack came out July 11, 2000. So, and this one was done by Def Jam Recordings. And there's, and here's where the confusion takes place. Even though there's like, there's 16 tracks in this sound, in this particular soundtrack. However, if you were to look this up on Wikipedia, you would notice that three tracks are missing from the track listings, but at the same time, those three tracks are mentioned. So, yeah, let me give you more info about this album before I jump into it. So, again, it came out July 11, 2000, and it was recorded from 99 up to 2000. So, the particular soundtrack I'm reviewing consists of hip-hop, well, hip-hop, rap, and R&B songs. Now, from this particular uh, soundtrack, there are three singles. Those three singles are Jay-Z's Hey Poppy, Janet Jackson's Don't Re Doesn't Really Matter. Really, I'm going to say there's four. And Music's Just, Music Soul Child's rather, Just Friends Sunny. Um, those are the three soundtracks. And then, of course, the fourth one is Thorn Song Uncensored, done by Cisco featuring Foxy Brown. So, yeah, there you go with that. However, apparently there's a different version of this soundtrack or something. I have no clue what's up with this. But apparently, um, there's two additional singles that is not on this particular soundtrack, and they are called You Can't Take Me, I'm Free, and Get Off of My Back. And once I've done some further research, both of those are actual rock and roll tracks, and they were produced by, well, both of them were produced by the, the Proclaimers, that's what they call as far as the second one, Get Off of My Back, that was also produced by the Proclaimers, and also produced by Smash Mouth. So that was interesting. Now, there's another track that was apparently part of the soundtrack, but not part of this particular star track. And it is called Not Even Gonna Trip. And that was done by Honeys, H O N E Y Z, which is a British R&B group. So, yeah. And it was the quote unquote for the original soundtrack for the movie. So apparently it was used in the movie, but it was not put in the soundtrack. I don't know, whatever. So I guess because. All of you know those artists, you know that the two rock and roll track and not even gonna trip was not done by Def Jam artists. So there you go with that. Now we're gonna focus on the 16 that did make the cut, but let me get that honey track out the way. There is a um a bit of info about that one. So that one was done and came out in 2000, and it was their sixth their sixth single, and it was the first with returning member. Heaven, Heavenly ID since Love a, of a Lifetime, rather. And there was really not much about this. You would think that it would be off of an album, but aside from the soundtrack, but no, it, it's not. So it, it was strictly for the soundtrack, but at the same time, I mean, for the movie, but it was on the, the soundtrack. Now, there is a single that came out where they had like three songs, really, not even going to trip. Um, finally found and good love. Oh no, there's four tracks. Excuse me. And then um, there's another one called Seems Like. Now, not even going to trip was remixed because uh, it was done like the Ed Case remix. And for some dumb reason, the radio edit was on the soundtrack twice. I have no clue why. <laughs> but um, yeah, there you go. Uh, there you go with that. Unless um, there was a two different track. I don't know. It's weird. Anywho, the stuff. So song Not Even Gonna Trip was on the UK single chart and it was reached a high number 24. So actually, uh, Honey's, this song was done by Mercury Records. So, and it was only released in the UK. So that's probably right. So we got that out the way. Let's move on to the official soundtrack. Now, like I said, there are 16 tracks on this soundtrack, but let me get the producers out the way. The producers are Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, Timberland, Although they spelled his name wrong, Tim Lynn. <laughs> That's funny. Tim and Bob Carvin and Ivan, P. King, Eric Summon, P. Killer Tracks, Brian McKnight, Chris Henderson, Redhead, Tafon, Ronnie, J Wait a minute. Ronnie Jerkins, R. Kelly, 
Um, Montel Jordan, Jojo Brim, so they, you know, let's see, moving on. Christopher, oh no, I mentioned him already. Um, mentioned Pete King already, did I mean, no, yeah, I did mention Pete King. Um, yeah, I'm missing Carvin, oh, actually, Carvin, yeah, and, Jan and Janet Jackson. So, yeah, there you go with the producer. Let, now, let's get to the track. So, the first track is called Does It Really Matter, one of the singles, and that was done by Janet Jackson, followed by the second single, Hey Poppy, which was done by Jay Z, Memphis Bleak, and Emil. And that and that was the only one Timberland produced. Obviously, Janet Jackson produced her own track along with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Just Friends Sunny by Music Soul Child is the third track, the other single. And that was produced by Carbon, Ransom, Hate, Haggins, and Ivan. Missing You by Case is the next track. That one produced by Tim and Bob, followed by Even M, which was done by Method Man. And that was produced by P. King and Eric Summit. Following that is I'm Gonna Crawl, which was done by DMX and Dime. And that was produced by P. Killer Track. P. Yeah. Track number seven is Thinking About Me by Brian McKnight, and of course, produced by Brian McKnight. Followed by Here With Me, which was done by Jazz, and that was produced by Christopher Deep Henderson. Track number nine is No You Didn't Say, done by Candace Love, and that was produced by Redhead, followed by track number 10, Let Me Be, done by Eve, and that was produced by Telfon. Track number 11 is called Get With Me, done by Shorty 101, remember them? And that one was done by Rodney Jenkins, or produced by Rodney Jenkins, rather. Track number 12 is called Do You Remember? And then in uh, parentheses, Once Upon a Time. And that was done by Montel Jordan and also produced by Montel Jordan and JoJo Brim. Followed by Thong Song Uncensored, aka the Thong Song Remix. That was done by Cisco featuring Foxy Brown. And that one was done by Tim and Bob. Second time mentioning them in this soundtrack. Produced by, they were produced by them. 14 track is called Off the Wall, done by Eminem and Redman. What a pairing that is. And that one was produced by, you guessed it, Eric Summon. Track number 16 is called Just a Touch, done and produced by R. Kelly. And then track number 16 is The Goat Sneak Preview, which is done by LA Cool J, the GOAT greatest of all time. So basically, that's a promo for his album that came out August 22nd of that year. For some odd reason, I didn't get that album. I'll get more of that in a second. So, anywho, um, let's go on with the single. So the first single was. Doesn't really matter. Done by Janet Jackson. Obviously, this is in order, by the way. I crap you not. Um, so again, the first single was Doesn't Really Matter. Done by Janet Jackson. Came out May 21st of 2000. Now, and there's a lot of info on this. So therefore, I'm not really going to get all into it. Uh, it was also a single from All For You. And I believe that's one of her albums. Yes, it is. That is one of her albums. So remember, Jenna Jackson is in this movie, if you can believe that. So, as far as the charts for this album, assuming I could find it, um, cause it, there's a crap ton of info about this track, and apparently a lot of people have redone this track. I crap you not. So, believe it or not, this track won some awards, actually. Uh, Blockbuster Entertainment Award, favorite song from a movie, it won that one. Um, Black Real Awards. Um, it was nominated for Best Original or Adapted Song. It was nominated. The BMI, I ain't gonna mention the nominated ones. Anywho, the BMI Pop Award. It was it won the Most Played Song Award. It also won the Most Performed Song from the Most in Picture Award, and it won the Silver Award. As far as the Japan Gold Disc Awards, it won the Top Selling Song of the Year for Foreign Music Award. And finally, the VH1 Fashion Award, Most Stylish Music Video, it won that. And again, it was nominated for a few other awards, and it's in the contention for, you know, best pop songs of 2000, best pop song of the decade, so forth and whatnot. Now, here we go to the charts. Oh, guys, okay. Australia, it was as high as number 28. Same thing with Belgium, Ultra Top 50 Flanders. It was as high as 13th on the Belgium's Ultra Top 50 Ranolia. It was number two in the Canadian charts, 
23rd in the Denmark charts, France it made as high as 40, Germany 23rd, Ireland 21st, Italy 10th, Japan uh, 33rd, Netherlands 11th, New Zealand 27th, Norway 13th, same with Scotland, Sweden was 14th, Switzerland was 17th, the UK singles was 5th, the UK R&B chart was 2nd, and it was number 1 in the following, the US Billboard Hot 100, US Mainstream Top 40, and the US Whitman um, chart as well. It was 3rd in the US Hot R&B Slash Hip Hop Songs, and number 9th in the US Hot Dance Singles Sales. As far as the year end chart, in the Belgium's Ultra Top 50 Flounder, it was 63rd, and in the US Billboard Hot 100, it was 18th. In the single alone, uh, it was silver in the UK selling over 200,000 copies and in the US it was gold selling six, 600,000 copies. So safe to say Doesn't Really Matter by Janet Jackson was a successful hit and then some. And also not only was this was done under Def Jam, it was also done under Virginia Records as well. Moving on to the second single which is called Hey Poppy. Now, unfortunately, there is no info regarding this uh, song. All I know is it was done specifically for this album, for this soundtrack. It's not on a Jay-Z album. It's not on a Memphis Bleak album. I doubt it was on a Amir album, even though she rarely said anything on this song. All she did was, hey, poppy. That's it. That's all she did. So I don't know why she was mentioned, but whatever. But it did. It do have a music video, and it's pretty dope. And, yeah, there you go with that. And, again, that was produced by Timothy. Now the third single is called Just Friends Sunny, done by Music Soul Child. And if you don't know what that is, everybody should know what this is. Hang on. Boona, 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 boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. So not only was that a singer from the Nerdy Professor to the Clumps, but it was also off of his debut album, All I Just Wanna See. I, all one word. I can't be not. <laughs> I, I put, probably pronounced that wrong, but whatever. And that album came out August 29th, that same year, 2000. Now, as for the single itself, um, it debuted on the Billboard Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs charts at number and peaked at number six. It also um, made on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, peaking at 31st. And then, yeah, there you go with that. So those are the three singles from this particular album. Um, so yeah, there you go with that. Now let's get on to my favorite tracks. And I can give you a top five since they're I mean even if, if even if we don't count that sneak preview track, which is track number 16, there's still 15 songs on here. And again, all of them are songs. Therefore, I can give you a top five. So sorry for the bottom up. All the tracks on here are good. Like I say, it's a mixture of rap, R and B, and there's some good songs on here. Thinking about me, Brian McKnight, I'm starting from the bottom up, just a touch by R. Kelly. Here with me by Jazz. No, you didn't say by Candace Love. That was a good one. I mean, there's a lot of good R&B baby making songs on this album. <laughs> I grab you that. Get with me. Shorty One on One was good. Do you remember Once Upon a Time by Montel Jordan was pretty dope. And then of course, Doesn't Really Matter by Jenny Jackson. I mean, obviously, along with Just Friends Sony by Music Soul Child, both of them obvious. Off the Wall by Egg by Eminem and Redman. That one really dope. Followed by Let Me Be by Eve. And then and then. I'm gonna put the ghost sneak preview on there because there's a good track on there. Like he they he um they uh like gave you sneak peeks of five of his tracks off of the album. The first track was the best one. Followed by the second track, which is Imagine That. And then the third I mean the fourth track, which is Hello featuring Emil. And then the third track, followed by the fifth track. The fifth track sound like something D Block we use. But anywho, let's get on with my top five. Number five is Missing You by Case. And again, this is one those mellow out joints, and you know how I am about the mellow out joints, man. I would just like kick back, close my eyes, and just lay on my bed, uh, facing the ceiling, and just chill while listening to this, man. It's like it's really nice. It's really, really nice, man. It ain't that baby making music. It's just one of those where you just gotta like reflect and just chill. And you know the song about missing you, so I'm missing you. So yeah, it's really dope. Number four, you know I gotta put this up here. Thong Song Uncensored, Cisco featuring Foxy Brown. I mean, come on, it's the Thong Song. Yeah, some people joke with it, but it was a dope track. The music video was dope. Shout out to The Big Show for being in the music video. So yeah, I had to put this number four there. Number three, I'm Gonna Crawl, done by DMX and Dime. Now, I don't know who this Dime person is. I'm gonna get this out the way first. 
But I'm listening to it and I'm like, okay, I don't hear nobody else say for DMX. Outside from, if you're gonna crawl, crawl, if you're gonna walk, wow. Like, the background vocal, that could be done. I'm like, again, just like a meal. Why are you listed? <laughs> I mean, I don't get it. But aside from that, that's what track itself again is another one of those kick back, relax joints. And you know, I like those. I mentioned that already. I mentioned that all the time. So yeah, I'm going to call them my DMX. That one's pretty dope. Number two, Even If by Method Man. That one is actually a hype one right there, man. You just can't help but to nod your head to that one, dog. I, I'm just imagining the beat in my mind right now. It's really dope. Um, I'm trying to think who produced this um beat again or this track. It was Eric Summer and Peking. Yeah, they did a nice job with that one. And of course, number one, Hey Poppy, even if you understand the flow. Oh man, that joint right there, Jay Z and Memphis Bleak. Come on, that hat. You know that's number one right there, man. Joint is out cold. I'm surprised he didn't use that for one of his albums, but again, it's not on one of his albums. It probably was, but somebody leaked it or something, and then he's like, I'm gonna just remove it and give it to the Nutty Professor 2 soundtrack or whatever. So, yeah, Hey Poppy, the best track off of this soundtrack. Now, let me give y'all some reviews on the album as a whole. All music gave it 3 out of 5 stars, while rap reviews gave it 7 out of 10 stars. What do I give this album? Well, like I said, it was a mixture of hip hop slash rap and R&B. And again, there's a lot of good R&B tracks, a lot of baby making tracks. There was some few hype joints. There was some few metal out joints. So I'm going to have to say, uh, I'm going to give this a 3.75 out of 5 stars. Because Hey Poppy, that is a really good track right there. It, it's like a step or two away from being a classic. And then outside of that, there's not a lot of uh, outside from Thorn song, which everybody will remember that one. I mean, that's a class in itself, but it's not the best track off of this album. So <laughs> yeah, there you go with that. I mean, there wasn't a lot, a lot of um, positive, but there was no negatives on this song. But it wasn't enough to make me give it a four or push it up, or no, not push up to a five. But um, yeah, 3.75 I think is just about the right rating for this um, album. And I would say download it. Like, just download it for free. You know, bootleg it or whatever. Um, this one, I say you should have in your digital collection. There, there you go with that. Now, remember, tomorrow, or later on tonight, rather, the album will drop. So, that's right. Resonant Epidemic will drop tonight at midnight. So, head on over to truefunnel.bandcamp.com to pick that joint up. Meanwhile, y'all know who this is. This is the new Jay Gatsby, a.k.a. Jim Ryan II, saying peace out, y'all. And see y'all next time. Yeah.